I picked up this sun hat. It's a uh, Monterey Bay Cabana hat uh, at a church sale. And on a table, all the hats for 50 cents. I also picked up four wool uh, Kangle cabby type hats. So we have to get those listed yet. But uh, this sold for $30. This is a uh, wooden box fan. It's made by uh, Mathis, which was became Curtis Mathis, and they made those huge console stereos. This is from the 1950s. It's got this nice rheostat here, four different speeds. It's five bladed, and you can uh, adjust these uh, louvers, both horizontal and vertical. Pretty cool fan. I saw it at a garage sale. They wanted $30 for it. I didn't even argue with them. And uh, I put it up for sale yesterday and it sold right away for $300. Now I priced it at uh, $300 after looking and seeing that uh, I didn't find any that had sold for over $175. But everybody that had them up for sale was way over $500 for them. So I kind of hopefully just found a sweet spot and didn't sell it too cheap. If you want to sell things like this, you've really got to commit to uh, the packing. This is some uh, really nice foam sheeting uh, I found at the uh, Ford car dealer. They're uh, parts. I think, it, I think it covered a bumper or something. And uh, so I'm always on the lookout for packing materials for weird stuff. Yes, I'm wearing... Dance goes with shorts. I can pull that off. These uh, Kleban mugs are always a good seller, although usually kind of long tail. I've had this probably almost a year and took an offer of $20. It's just uh, 25 cents at the uh, thrift store. This is a uh, metal model. Of, it's called a MGB GT. Made by Matchbox for Dinky Toys or the Dinky Collection. Um, pretty cool, very detailed. It's got the Webasto sunroof, canvas sunroof. And uh, I bought this in 1990 at the Road America racetrack in Wisconsin. At the time, I was a uh, truck driver hauling uh, vintage Ferraris to races. It was kind of an interesting summer doing that. I got to uh, drive some of those Ferraris basically to drive them around the paddock, go get gas in them, things like that. But it was fun and learned a lot about racing. But this little model, I don't even remember what I paid for it, but being 1990, I probably didn't pay much. And it sold for $30. This is another box lot extra from an auction. It's a Ray Charles program from the 60s. Kind of cool and in pretty good shape. And I sold it uh, on a best offer. I kind of went crazy when I listed it, but you got to ask for a lot to get something. I put it up for $79.99 and I got a $50 offer. I found this little uh, coal mine model kit for a railroad at a uh, garage sale. There's a bunch of other model railroading equipment there. I don't know a lot about those, uh, although I'd like to get into them. But I don't know a lot about model railroading as far as uh, what's popular. You know, you know the name Lionel and stuff. But this little kit was uh, unused, and I thought this would bring a, a nice price. It, I paid three dollars for it, and it sold for thirty. Seven more of these uh, Libby glass coffee mugs sold. I picked these up. Two cases of these for two dollars each at a garage sale. Brand new. They're going out to uh, San Diego, California. Five dollars a piece. Thirty-five dollar sale. This is a acid-washed uh, denim cap with the uh, patch, Tennessee State, with the uh, stars and bars across it. I knew this would sell pretty quickly, and it did for uh, thirty dollars. It was just in a box that I bought probably ten hats out of for about uh, three or four dollars. I really love this sale. Uh, a few weeks ago, I bought a big pile of uh, Ferragamo shoes, 
And uh, in there was just this one lone shoe, left foot shoe. And so, of course, I put it up, put amputee in the title, and it sold for $25. They sold these two items to the same person in Russia. This nice uh, vintage Yankees hat, 50 cents at a garage sale. And these, I paid $3 for these uh, Clark's Stinson leather boots. And I've got uh, $30 she paid for the hat and $50 for the boots. But she included a little note that was interesting saying how she was looking forward to uh, receiving these items. And if it was possible, could I please include a couple packages of Twinkies for her son who loves them so much but they're impossible to find in Russia? Well, I happened to be at the store the other day and saw these, so I bought a box of Twinkies. How could I uh, turn that request down? Kind of a weird one, but thought I'd help out. I bought a box of old photos at a garage sale which included this uh, portrait of this lovely young woman. And it sold for uh, $20. I paid $5 for the whole box. And in that box, something very interesting was a diploma from the University of Iowa. And it was awarded to Jewel Peterson, uh, Masters of Fine Arts. And it was one of the first three Masters of Fine Arts uh, awarded in the nation in 1940. So I've got that up for a real high price, hoping I can uh, get someone who's into history. And I couldn't find a picture of Jewel, so I don't know if this is her or not, but it was in the same box. This is a uh, Bell Systems Princess phone in the uh, beautiful aqua color, push button, touch tone. And uh, this was just 3 or $4 at a garage sale, and it sold for $90. I almost passed up this uh, little brown chest cooler. It was at the end of a driveway as I was leaving a garage sale, and uh, it was only $2. So I picked it up because it looks vintage enough, and it's galvanized steel on the inside. It is kind of beat up, some rust, some paint chips, a dent right there. But it's still sold for $50. This is a ornate picture frame. It's fairly uh, long. It's about 32 inches long by about 20 inches. It's made in Mexico. It's got a little bit of damage on some of these raised ornate pieces. But uh, it's been floating around in my garage for over a year now. Just never got around to uh, getting it listed. It came in a box of pictures for two dollars and fifty cents at an auction and i put it up and it sold immediately for one hundred dollars it's a couple of vintage costumes that came in a box lot at an auction just have probably bought the whole box of uh, five or six costumes for uh two dollars and fifty cents and uh these were the ones i thought were least likely to sell but uh they weren't the first to sell but this is a smurfs and of course the uh, care bears and uh, they're going to a uh, costume company out in Los Angeles, and they sold for uh, $30 a piece. This is a vintage denim shirt. It's a Woolrich, fairly modern label, not real old, probably 80s or 90s. It's a great size XXL. I sold it once before, and although I advertised it as being worn, the buyer thought it was a little bit too worn and sent it back. No problem. And it's sold again, so hopefully this time it'll stick. It's just $2 at a garage sale, and I sold it for $24. This is an SAE power amp. It's huge, very heavy. I picked this up at an auction just last Wednesday. The auction featured a table full of uh, very nice uh, audio gear, but there was no way to test it. And one particular piece I was very interested in, hoping no one else was... Uh, going to recognize it while I was there, and that was a Sansui preamp that uh, eBay showed uh, best result there was about twelve hundred dollars. I was thinking if it uh, if it worked, well, that was a realm of possibility. But if it didn't, I'd probably only be able to get about five hundred dollars for it. So I put my limit at two hundred, and that got passed very quickly. 
ended up going for like seven hundred dollars and I don't understand it but uh, I had looked up these other couple other pieces of equipment and I won the choice of thirty dollars and I picked this one and a Kenwood preamp that I already have up for sale and then this one sold within just a day for four hundred dollars this is a uh, mahogany silverware chest with a drawer it's a Reed Barton pretty good shape it has a couple of minor scratches I found it at a church sale it's just 50 cents and I have put it up for $60 and took an offer of 45 I found this uh, Corvette uh, trunk lid plate name plate at a estate sale on the second day in the basement just sitting on a shelf and uh, it came in the original package and with the part number so it's easy to do the research and figure out uh, what year it was from the late 70s and uh, it was just uh, five dollars so uh, second day it was half price so two dollars and fifty cents is what I paid for it, and it sold for fifty five dollars this uh, ceramic ashtray it's got this uh, metal plate on top a little research and I found out that that's the gothic letter L. I can't remember which way it was. But this is uh, made by the Hyde Park. Nice vintage 60s ashtray. I remember uh, my parents or friends of my parents would have ashtrays like this in their homes in the 60s. And this was just 50 cents at a garage sale and I sold it for $30. This is a pair of mud flaps for a Chevy pickup. Found these at a garage sale. They wanted two bucks a piece for them. One was actually opened, but they're still unused. And I could tell they were kind of vintage by the uh, truck in the picture. It looks like a late 80s, early 90s Chevy pickup made by Grabowski. And uh, these sold for $50. This is a vintage trucker hat. It's just a blank one, though. My uh, local uh, thrift store had a whole shelf full of these. I bought about six of them to try them out, and I've been selling them for $20. And I went back and I bought a bunch more. But uh, I noticed that um, you got to be careful of the brims. Some of them were cracked. That's sort of true for any of these trucker hats. But... Uh, Again, this one sold for uh, $20, and they were selling them for just $0.50 cents a piece. Another uh, VHS tape player. This one's a combo with a DVD player, JVC brand. This was uh, $5 at a garage sale, which is about all I ever pay for these. It's nice. It came with the original remote and uh, uh, owner's manual. And I had this priced at $89, and I took a best offer of $75. And this is the other item that I bought at the auction on Wednesday, along with that power amp. This is a Kenwood uh, preamp. And uh, this, I bought this for $30 as well. It was basically, uh, I won the bid for choice of the table, $30. And I took both pieces. First one sold for $400, and this one sold for 200 